It has been Japan's pride for providing the exquisite quality in housing construction, as well as the social infrastructure among the world. The third-party accreditation organizations certify such quality in the field of construction business in Japan. One of them is the Japan Testing Center for Construction Materials. We were established in 1963 to provide the quality certification for housing construction and social infrastructure of Japan. The Japan Testing Center for Construction Materials consists of three laboratories, which are Central Test Laboratory, Construction Materials Test Laboratory, and Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory, and other three dedicated headquarters, one for ISO Certification Service, one for Performance Evaluation Service, and one for JIS Mark Certification Service. Among them, let us introduce Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory. Established in 1974, the Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory and Fukuoka Test Laboratory, with the largest testing facilities in the Western Japan area, are mainly developing our services for customers in the Western Japan area, as you can see. Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory deals with the general testing service for building and civil engineering materials, and quality control testing for construction materials, such as concrete and steel used in building and civil engineering construction sites. Fukuoka Test Laboratory performs quality control testing for construction materials concentrating in the Kyushu area, a southern island. Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory provides such a variety of test menus. Reliability supported by fairness and solid technical strength. Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory and the Fukuoka Test Laboratory have been registered as accredited service providers under the JNLA. And further, Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory is recognized as an accredited international MRA business operator. Let's take a look at a part of the laboratory. Let us introduce the material tests. First, the ozone resistance test targeted at organic materials. The main test material subjects are those made from rubber and gaskets. The ozone contained in the atmosphere is very little, but we control the ozone gas concentration in the test instrument and we monitor the appearance of cracks to confirm whether the material meets durability targets. This is the structural test. This shows the in-plane shear test of the wooden framework bearing wall. It aims to survey the degree of resistance of the bearing wall of the wooden framework structure against the forces experienced during an earthquake or horizontal forces due to wind pressure. During the test, we measure the displacements and load force of the parts and visually confirm any damage to the sample. The large in-plane shear test equipment located in our Nishi Nihon Test Laboratory is particularly known for its capacity to test larger test structures than those of other test laboratories. This is the fire resistance test. The fire resistance test is utilized to confirm that a building structure will not collapse and the performance of flame interception. The fire resistance test of a beam involves heating similar to levels anticipated during a fire while adding load to parts of the building structure and measuring the fire resistance performance parameters such as volumes and speed of deflection. Let us show you the quality control testing for construction materials. The concrete compressive strength tests confirm whether the strength of the concrete placed into a structure conforms to the design rules. To test, gently place the testing body within the testing machine, then add compressive load until demolition whilst monitoring the strength parameters. Here we demonstrate a compressive strength test of cement milk. Cement milk is a pile material to support a building which is a very important part of building foundations. The cement milk is sampled at the on-site construction to fabricate specimens. After the specified curing time duration, the specimens must clear the required compression strength regulation. 